Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV where today we head into the heart of the world. As today we go after Leviathan. Last time Leviathan was successfully summoned and we could do very little to stop it. We also witnessed something rather concerning. The Sahagan priests use, using the power of the Echo in ways we have not seen before. They seem to be able to leave their own body and possess the bodies of others. And honestly, that kind of sounds like the Asian's powers too, because we know they're able to possess others. One possessed Thancred. So this is definitely a concerning development. If the Asians are using the same Echo powers as us, but more advanced, I want to know more about it. And that's also why Minfilia came along. Alright, let's check in with everyone before we head after Leviathan. If we meet Leviathan on the open sea, we put ourselves at the Primal's mercy. We must think of a way to face him on equal terms. The gods of this realm are vengeful beings. It is of little wonder the Garleans fear their kind so. Though the mission ended in failure, I take solace in the knowledge that Minfilia is unharmed. Had, we only, had only we arrived but a moment earlier. But there's no time to brood over what might have been. Leviathan has returned, and we must needs find a way to deal with him. Alright, Merle Wib, what's the plan? Merle Wib is brooding over Leviathan's return. Though our plight cries out for action, we must take thought. So long as Leviathan remains on the open sea, he is effectively beyond our reach. Our fleet is second to none, of that you may be sure. But Lim Lane herself would struggle to best the Lord of the World and his element. In a straight fight, he would make me to match one of us. We need another plan, that much is plain. Let us return to Limza and see if we cannot think of one. I shall await you in the command room. Alright, back to Limza it is. Quick teleport away. A shame, though. A shame we weren't able to stop the summoning. But like, also, Leviathan is a classic Final Fantasy summon. You didn't think we were going to get away without fighting it, right? Alright then. Up to the command room. You are expected in the command room. Pray do not keep the Admiral waiting. Oh, don't worry. That's why I'm here. Alright, everyone. How's it going? Not well, I assume? To confront the Lord of the World in his watery domain is far from ideal, yet he is not like to come to us. Would that he lack the mean to strike us from afar. When I saw Leviathan rise from the depths, I cannot well describe what I felt. No words could prepare one for such a sight. Being the observant adventurer that you are, you will doubtless have noticed that my dagger work back at Sopsa. You know me, Satara, I like to dabble in a bit of this and a bit of that. I did notice! The Sahagan Elder claimed to have become eternal, yet he was summarily consumed by Leviathan. What might this imply? That is a good question. If Leviathan is allowed to unleash a tidal wave, nothing within ten miles of the coast will be safe, let alone Limza. I trust you see what's at stake here. Yeah, that's terrifying. Alright, Merle Vib. Plan time. There used to be a hamlet beyond South Tidegate in western Lanosha. Hearthstone, it was called. Some years prior to the Maelstrom's founding, Leviathan rose from the briny depths and set about unleashing watery hell upon us. On that occasion, the company of heroes put him down before he could do too much damage. But when the bastard came next, this time in the wake of the Calamity, we were not so fortunate. Weary of ravaging our shoreline, he summoned a tidal wave which fair leveled Hearthstone and washed the soil away for good measure. The area was subsequently occupied by the Sahagin. Aye, the thrice damned creatures transformed it into a spawning ground for their brood. Given the quantity of crystals stolen to feed him and his legion of thralls, we can be fairly sure that Leviathan is stronger now than in his previous incarnations. If that sea demon is left to wreak havoc, 
What befell Hearthstone may well befall a larger settlement. Even Limsa. That cannot happen. The Primal must be stopped. That was ever our objective, Admiral. But how are we to achieve it? The sea is Leviathan's uncontested domain. The ships of the Third Squadron could not close to within a hundred yards of the Primal, nor could their cannons pierce his defenses. I have read the reports, Master Thancret. Our warships may as well have been bloody pleasure barges for all the good they did. Seven Hells! Is there no way that we might strike back? The company of heroes defeated Leviathan, having first lured him into an inlet. But we must needs contend with him upon the open sea. It will avail us little to consult past experience. Admiral, if I may. Speak freely, Marshal. By all accounts, Leviathan's most formidable weapon is the very sea itself. Waves and whirlpools, tides and currents, all these things are his to command. The key to victory, I believe, lies in disarming our foe. This, in effect, is what the company of heroes achieved with their ruse. We cannot lure Leviathan from the sea a second time. But what if we could weaken his hold upon the element of water? I have heard of devices capable of such wonders. They draw upon the power of corrupted crystals, I am told. If mounted upon a ship, such a device might be used to prevent Leviathan from bringing the full force of the sea to bear against us, rendering him no more dangerous than any other sea serpent. Of course! Sid built a similar device to grant the Enterprise safe passage through Garuda's Tempest, did he not? Begging your pardon, my lady, but to give credit where it's due, this is something I heard from an old arcanist friend of mine. It makes little difference who thought of it first, so long as it works. Beg the specifications of this device from your friend, and I shall pass them on to our people at Naldic and Vermelis. But before we proceed any further, I would voice one concern. Piercing Garuda's defenses is one thing. Suppressing Leviathan's attacks quite another. In matters of science, I am as a babbling babe. But I cannot well imagine that such a feat would be possible without a veritable mountain of corrupted crystals. The question being, do we have a ship big enough to bear such a burden? Mayhap not, Admiral, but too might. Recall you the tale of Mistbeard's greatest haul? It is said that he lashed two ships together, side by side, the better to bear his plunder. By your leave, we might attempt to repeat the trick. The gods know it would be quicker than building a new vessel. Mistbeard did this? Truly, Marshal. Upon the subject of the Pirate King, you are as a scholar. Now, from what I have gleaned of these matters, the device will need to be in close and constant proximity to the target. To wit, we must lash our twin vessel to Leviathan. This in itself will be no small feat. Ramming speed will be required, but given the weight of the cargo, that will only be attainable with the aid of a towing vessel. Suffice it to say, the task of piloting said vessel will entail considerable danger, and I would not ask it of another. I volunteer myself. It will be dangerous for all involved. But we have no better recourse. Very well. Commodore, assemble the remnants of the fleet at Morabi Bay. 
Give priority to our soundest vessels. The repairs can wait. Storm Marshal Slapierson, command of the operation is yours. I want that twin vessel ready to sail post haste. At once, Admiral. And then there is the small matter of slaying the beast. The fate of Limsa Lominsa rests upon your shoulders once again. Go well, warrior of light. Alright, this sounds like an absolutely absurd plan, but we gotta try. It also sounds fun, honestly. I have my people working triple shifts on the twin vessel, but it will take some time yet. Time we may not have. Seven hells, this waiting is liable to drive the lot of us mad. To confront the Lord of the- Okay, you've already said that, nothing new. Nothing new, so I assume Thancred you're also gonna say... Nothing new. Alright, Yugiri, what do we got? Being held as gods also ex uh, beings held as gods also exist in what you call the Far East. Legends tell us that they walked among us in days of yore, but I confess that I never truly believed them. That I should live to behold one is humbling and horrifying in equal measure. Now that I have come face to face with the primal, I do begin to understand why the Garleans fear them so. What is it? A message, Admiral. I judge it best that it be delivered at once. I am listening. According to the Yellow Jackets, a man has appeared who claims to have defeated Leviathan. One of the company of heroes. The details are yet hazy, Admiral. We have dispatched one of our own to question the individual. Hmm, I am disinclined to put any store by this claim. And even if it should be true, it is as Yustola said. None save the company of heroes have bested Leviathan, and we know how they went about it. If this man is of their number, what could he tell us that we do not know already? And yet, having wagered Limsa's survival on two ships, some rope, and a pile of crystals, can we afford to ignore this man? If his testimony could yield us any manner of advantage, should we not hear it? Damn it all. The twin vessel will soon be ready. We have no time to wait for the Maelstrom's report on this supposed Primal Slayer's claim, Satora. Seek him out and see and learn what he knows. At the very least, it will spare you the torment of waiting for the reckoning in idleness. Fair enough. The man you are looking for is believed to be a resident of the Grey Fleet in Lower Lenosia. The Storm Private sent to question him should already be in the vicinity. May your journey prove fruitful. The Grey Fleet in Lower Lenosia. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? I'll meet you over there at uh, Red Rooster Stead. All right, we are just north of Red Rooster Stead at the Gray Fleet. Let's go meet up with the storm officer and figure out who this mystery person who claims to have defeated Leviathan is. Motherfucker. All right, let's get this nonsense over with. Now look here, you. You'll have your bloody story right after you carry those sacks of grains over to the mill. B but sir, that's what you said before you had me pick those oranges for you. And before I mucked out the chocobo stables. And before I rolled that millstone over to the mill. And also before... Gods, man, I've worked three days straight without a wink of sleep. Three days, and you, do you hear me complaining? Ah, I suppose some of us just ain't made for the rougher stuff. All right, all right, I'll give you what you want. Never let it be said that old track dome ain't a generous soul. Now prick your ears up, because I won't be repeating myself. Too modest, see? Besides, there's only so much epicness a man can take in one sitting, you can? Ahem, <clears throat> the tale of track dome's epic victory over the dread primal Leviabetus. 
No, the vibe. <laughs> I just... Yep, yeah, okay. This isn't going to go in a direction, and I apologize in advance. Now, the vibe beat, this is huge, make no mistake. To give you an idea how big, each of his scales is about as wide across as me members long. And that's no mean feat, let me tell you. When I fought him, I could barely see for all the brine he was pelting me with. Must have been a lagoon's worth, at least. He even knocked me trusty axe out of me hands at one stage. Of course, that proved to be a grave mistake. Hehe. <laughs> What happened next? Why, I grabbed him by the tail and tied him up in knots. But not wanting to take all the glory for myself, I let my mates in the company of heroes handle the rest. Like I said, I'm modest as well as heroic. Mayhap too modest. Now, there's some uh, some say you can never truly beat Leviabetus. That you've got to learn to live with him and make the best of a bad situation. Not the company, though. Ah! It's... It's you! I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I was just enjoying the attention is all. I take back everything I said. I was never part of the company of heroes. I'm no marauder. I'm actually a complete coward. I'm nothing. I'm chocobo dung. No, I'm the maggots you find wriggling in chocobo dung. I have to lie to women to, hu to tumble them, and that don't happen much. My member's tiny. It's pathetic. <laughs> Sir, I think you care way too much about the size of your dick. I sure as hell didn't fight Leviabetus, but, but I have seen him with my own eyes. It was a fair few years back when I was working as a baker's hand. I was shirking my duties one day, loitering about the harbor when I saw it. A great big mass of sea serpents and mums off the coast with a fleet of galleons making straight for it, cannons firing. I was so bloody scared I sold myself right there and then. You, sir, have no qualms about embarrassing yourself and just, like, throwing all your dignity out the window the moment you see that I'm here. What? Oh, God, just remembering that day made me soil myself all over again. No! Why would you say this? Oh, God. Hey, hey, wait. If you're here asking after Leviabetus, it means you're planning to fight him, ain't you? Well, take care. He really is terrible. Dreadful, I tell you. If you're not careful, you'll end up in his gullet or at the bottom of the sea. Why, you worthless lying horse, and I can't believe you made me handle chocobo dung. Can we arrest him? Get him out of all of our misery. Satara, this is Minfilia. Were you able to learn out of use against Leviathan? Hell no! I beg your pardon? Leviabetus? I see. That is unfortunate. At any rate, I have tidings for you. The twin vessel is now complete. We await you at Mo the Moraby Dry Docks. Try to make your way here as soon as you are able. I hope you have a miserable life, Tractome. Or you get your shit together, because this is just sad. Alright, I'll meet you at Morby. Alright, good to see everyone has arrived. Hello there. Let's check in with you all, and then we can finish off this quest. When when first Master Ainzar proposed the twin vessel, I must confess that I had my doubts. Speaking of, Ainzar, I think he has Sid's voice actor. It at the very least sounds similar enough to Sid that I'd believe it. Only now that the war leader is complete, do I see the elegance of this solution. Actually, can we see it from here, or is it just out at sea? We're not going to be able to see it, are we? To complete the twin vessel in so short a time and with limited materials, the people of Naldic and Vimelis have won an admirer in me. <sighs> Would that we have armed our had armed ourselves with more knowledge beforehand. Well, it cannot now be helped. I take comfort in the fact that you have faced worse odds in the past, and have ever prevailed. You'll do so again, I have that I have no doubt. I appreciate the confidence. It's definitely not going to be easy. It'll require no small amount of helmsmanship to tell the world eater. I dare say delivering you safely to Leviathan will be a battle in itself. In order to build the world eater, we had to decommission two perfectly serviceable galleons. Suffice it to say, their captains weren't best pleased with the notion, but when I offered them this chance to keep their ships and face Leviathan our... Uh, the, the chance to keep their ships and face Leviathan in our stead, they magnanimously withdrew their complaints. We must all make sacrifices for the greater good, they said. Yeah, I imagine Limbs is going to compensate them when this is all over, but uh, I, I can understand why they're not happy. <laughs> I'm told your John to the Great Fleet proved fruitless. My sympathies last. I'll wager it served to take your mind off of the events of recent days, though. But enough of that nonsense. The moment of truth is upon us. 
The twin vessel, the world leader I call her, is complete and she surpasses all my expectations. In addition to her prodigious tonsage, she has been fitted with a platform that you and yours might maneuver freely in battle. I would mention also that she is nigh unsinkable, but I'm not one to tempt fate. The world leader and her crews will stand ready, my friend. Just give the word and we shall bear you to Leviathan. Alright. Next time on Final Fantasy XIV, we confront the Lord of the World. I'll see everyone next time for that.